Hi, everyone. Uh, and thank you, Karen, for introducing me. Um, as Karen said, um, my name is Kevin. I'm a consultant here at Affinity Consulting. And today we're going to be going over the set builder uh, add in for NetDocs, which allows you to create binders uh, in an easy and uh, thorough manner that you can then send out to your clients or internally as well. Um, to start, let's go over what set builder actually is. Uh, with the net document set builder, merging PDFs into a binder has never been easier. Whether it's for a real estate closing, HR documents for a new employee, an estate plan, or any of the thousand other examples you can think of that you encounter like every day in your work, set builder is the best tool to use. Uh, simply by clicking the add new set tab in the workspace, you can create your complete binder in minutes. So we're gonna go through the process of creating this set so you can see just how easy it is. First, you wanna create a new set. Now, I'll be showing my screen off and on to show you in a real life examples of this through NetDocs, but Set Builder is an add-on for Net Documents. If you don't have this already, it has to be enabled in a repository by the Net Document support team. If you don't see the set tab, you can contact your administrator who will then set you up. Uh, to turn on the Set Builder for an individual workspace, you must have at least the VES rights to that workspace. Uh, which is a permissions setting inside of NetDocs. So in the workspace options drop down menu, you'd select the customized workspace, and then you would go to the select sets checkbox and select save changes. Um, a thing here to notice, the Internet Explorer is not fully enabled with NetDocs and this tool. So I would highly advise using Firefox or Chrome to get the full uh, features of everything. And once it's enabled, you can go to the add new set and name it and then you click on the add button to continue. So let's take a look at that right now. So here you can see that I'm in a workspace uh, in this place is in this case is the Jeff Lebowski uh, workspace. And we already have two sets created, one that I did just for this and two, another uh, set as well. But I'm gonna walk you through how to start just at the very beginning. So like I was saying, the add set build button you click that and then you would name it uh, in this case i'll just name it case two and hit add and give it a second there and now we already have the beginnings of our binder let me go back to the slide and so step two is your document you can add documents outside of Net Documents through a drag and drop method, saving you time if you don't already have them inside of Net Documents, or you can go through Net Documents and copy them into a set, which is what I'll be doing here. Uh, set Builder accepts a variety of file types: Word, Excel, PDFs, uh, most of the things that you're going to be using. It'd be I'd be hard pressed to say one that uh, a file type that it doesn't accept. And once in, you can change the arrangement by moving the files around, adding the headings or numbers. Which ha and they have a, a different fonts and looks for them and to perfect the look that you want. So an example of that, if you go here, now you have this, obviously first, you can add a header, uh, case two, and then you can go to add documents. So here we could drag and drop things if we had things on our desktop or in another space that isn't already in net documents, or we can select the documents from this workspace, which is what I'll be doing, or you can upload documents that you may have saved somewhere else. So let's select a few documents here. Hey, Kevin, while you're selecting your documents um, and walking through that, can you answer a question for us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the question is, is Set Builder an additional feature um, or additional fee, um, or should it be part of the standard subscription that needs just needs to be enabled? I believe it's just something that needs to be enabled on your own Net Documents through uh, your admin and then reaching out to Net Document support. So it is a new feature that you have to have enabled. I do not believe there is an additional fee, but that would be something you most likely want to cover with Net Documents to be sure. Okay, great, thank you. And not a problem. Um, so let's add a couple of fake documents here. Uh, let's do the cover letter first. 
because obviously we want that to be the first thing that we see. And then we can uncheck that and go to, oh, there we go. We can go to this and that, say we want those in there. Then I want to get out of this area and let's say we want to go to agreements, copy those in. and then back out of that and go into, let's say, discovery. And obviously, you would know more about it than me as far as which binder you're actually creating and how you want it to look. But here we have kind of a basic, let's send six documents to someone. Um, from there, we can add a placeholder for documents that may be missing or that uh, you're waiting on so that you can then come back to this and help them go through that. You can also here change the title if you haven't titled the document appropriately for a client to see. You can turn on numbering, convert to a placeholder, convert to a header, replace the document, download a document if you want an add-on to this, and so forth. From here, let's add some numbering. Let's say we want this to look like that and hit save. Now that's there, now it's Roman numerals. Okay, <clears throat> just one moment, let me jump back to the PowerPoint. Uh, like I was saying with the placeholders, so if you don't have all of your documents completed or you're waiting for something to come in, you can add placeholders to plan which document you need in the category and have a place for it when you're ready to add it. It's a great way to hand off the set to a coworker if you're collaborating. And that's a really important point. So. To get back to the actual net documents so if we added a placeholder here let's say because we need another document that maybe one of your co-workers is working on or waiting for you can actually send this binder um, and it'll be in the status in progress to them and then they can fill out their portions of what they need let's say we're also waiting for that one as well so now when they receive that link from you and they open up this set uh, or this binder, they'll see that where they need to put these things and how to do so, which makes it just easier for everyone, especially if you're collaborating and, you know, especially now, now that you're not working in the office, most likely, this is a lot easier to kind of guide people as to what you're doing. So just a note there. So. When all your documents are assembled and ready for publishing and the fields are all filled in, you'd click Generate Binder. That's it. Uh, Set Builder will compile your documents into one PDF document with an optional cover page and or table of, content, of contents ready for delivery or use. You can email a client the link through NetDocuments or send it internally to a coworker. So let's go back there and show you exactly what I mean. So let's say this is done. Um, all you need to do now is hit generate binder. Uh, I didn't mention that you can also send it in a zip file. So all the documents would be different and it'll just show as a link to a zip file from that documents. But here, let's do the PDF file. And as you can say, as you can see, it says, well, one, hey, this has placeholders. You haven't actually finished it. And two, you don't have a cover page. So it actually will prompt you on how to make it a better, more professional binder. Um, in this case, let's just say I want to do it anyway. Let's say I don't care about cover pages or the fact that I'm missing two documents for whatever reason that might be. That would also be if you want to send this internally to a coworker, because that wouldn't be the same message you get. Now that you have this, and now that it's created, you can then change it and either put it in final or inactive, or if it's still in progress, uh, you can leave it there because the placeholders that we're missing. One moment. And what's even better is if this is something you do routinely in the course of the day, if you always have cases like this, or if you always have to send templates, or if you also have to send these binders out every day or on every time a case is closed, and you have to generate these huge PDFs, you can clone this set to create a te new template with it. 
once that's created, you'll spend even less time creating these binders and you'll be able to fill your working hours with more productive tasks. So you don't have to stand around and find all these documents, merge them all into one humongous PDF and then send them out. Now you can just go to that template that you've already created, put in the documents you need and then send it off. Um, you can share these templates with coworkers as well so that they then have that and they can then favorite that so it's on their homepage as can you so that now you can actually just open up net documents and it's on your home page with that template and then you can just put in everything you need and send it off so let's go back to that document so how to do that how would you create this uh or how would you send this off just one moment You can also comment on it saying uh, maybe to your coworker for a coworker, your turn, right? And then once you go to sets and hit back, go to case two. You can either save that to your own self and send it off like that. Go here. And email the workspace link, which they could get to from there. You can clone this and by cloning it and calling it template one, if you spelled it right. you would get, uh, just one moment while it refreshes, you would get this, and now it's a template. So these, you can always rename, you can always just uh, edit that, and just say cover letter, and then keep on editing, and go to meeting next week, lunch, whatever it might be, uh, whatever your particular template or needs are for the binder. And then once you have that template, you can save that template, and then just fill it in, with whatever documents you have incoming. So again, not only is this a great way to merge a lot of PDFs for one particular case uh, in a quick and easy way, like this took me about five minutes to learn and I guarantee you it'll take you about five minutes as well. It's very easy to do. But once you create that, you can also clone that into a template so that you don't even have to think about that part. All you have to do is click on template one, which is now set in your, in your binder that you can favorite and then just go to that and fill it full of whatever documents you need and send off into one uh, PDF. And again, to go over some of the other functions, not only can you put headers in or placeholders or add your documents, but you can do numbering. You can go back and forth. The numbering here would be like, for instance, we want this to be that. And that numbering system would be if you're doing this, and then it goes down. And that's really about it, and that's all it takes. And then you can send this generated binder to a client in just a secure link from net documents or to an internal worker, and also clone and create that template so that you don't have to do this work uh, again, or you don't have to do it um, the same actions again, rather. So an amazing time saver. And I know from personal experience that merging PDFs can be a time consuming and quite, quite frankly, boring part of your day. Uh, with this, it takes out that work and enables you to be more productive throughout the day. Um, I know that we're probably under time but I tend to speak fast. So <laughs> um, if you have any other questions, feel free uh, to ask now. Um, or I can go over uh, just making another binder as well. I think uh, that looks, yeah, I think that looks great, Kevin. Um, and just sure. to let you know, John from Net Documents did uh, jump in and uh, did say that SetBuilder is an additional cost um, to the subscription. So oh, thank you, great. John. Thank for you, John. 
thank you for jumping in and helping with that. So um, I just want to say thank you, Kevin. Um, binders seem like a really great tool. Uh, I hope everybody uh, gives those a try. And uh, thanks for showing us how to get started. Great job, Kevin. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate it, Karen. And sure. again, if, if anyone has any questions, uh, there's my information. Feel free to reach out. That's great. And uh, thanks to all of you for attending. Uh, if you were intrigued by Kevin's presentation this afternoon and want to learn more about Set Builder and Binders in NetDocs, or have any other document management questions, I encourage you to take advantage of our free 30-minute DMS consultation. Uh, this is your chance to speak with one of our DMS experts at Affinity and get those important questions answered. I'm just going to reply to the follow-up email I'm about to send and I will do the rest. We do have a few more uh, DMS-focused sessions this year. Uh, email management with your DMS and a recap of NetDocs virtual Elevate program are coming up for October. Um, but you can check out all of our upcoming webinars by jumping onto affinityconsulting.com slash webinars. Um, please do share your feedback with us on the survey that follows, and I hope you'll join us again soon. Stay safe and healthy, everybody.